Bucket Tov, Chavrim. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Wanted to share some stuff I've been watching here on Lorenzo's Twitter page as well as his website there. Uh, uh, of course, Lorenzo is with AlreadyHappen.com. Just like you can see here on the screen here, his name already happened. His website has a hyphen, already hyphen happen.com. You definitely want to check out what Lorenzo's doing. He's an Italian investigative journalist, uh, really incredible guy there. Brings out a lot of interesting information, especially in the United States about troop movement, etc. He keeps up with these things going on. And he's reported uh, uh, this morning, early this morning, as well as yesterday, uh, tremendous amount of military movement in the United States. U.S. loaded 1,500 military vehicles, including the Stryker AF AFVS, onto the USNS Bob Hope and Cape Isabel in Washington on the west coast there. And as you can see here on the deck of this, uh, or excuse me, not on the deck, but on the outside of the deck there, you can see the ship there to the left. Uh, just an ocean of military equipment here. Uh, and as he mentioned on here, the AFVS, uh, uh, AFVs, excuse me, AFVs, they're just everywhere on the uh, ground here getting ready to be loaded on. They have been loaded. Uh, he's also, uh, his friend Yorick uh, Isak uh, says, more assertive Black Sea presence, U.S. Navy Europe, Ar uh, Arle, Burke class destroyer, USS Porter, 78 transit uh, Bosphorus yesterday. Uh, this is in the Black Sea, the U.S. strong buildup of military presence over there. And of course, as we go further down, we have some, uh, this was I think 18 hours ago, day and a half ago here. Uh, I saw this uh, even, of course, when he first posted this out. Impo was right, another long train loaded with U.S. Bradley uh, IFVs and other vehicles spotted in Houston, Texas today. We are moving massive amount of military equipment all different directions. Of course, Texas coming out of the Gulf of Mexico, no doubt headed to the Middle East and everything on the West Coast, no doubt probably headed to uh, more than likely South Korea. So the U.S. is definitely getting ready for a major war, both in uh, the eastern part of the world, even in Europe, uh, the Middle East, as well as the Far East there, and that's what's troubling. Now, to kind of back that up, he also posted this video here. More U.S. reinforcements have arrived in north of Raqqa. Syria reports as 40 trucks loaded with military equipment, including the MR, MRAPs, were spotted on these. And I'm going to play this video again for you just so you can see this here. Um, they're just going by quickly, but they say that there were actually 40 of these uh, particular trucks going by. And those uh, big trucks you see on there, that's kind of like what is replacing the Humvees now uh, as the latest in technology able to withstand, uh, you know, IEDs, uh, the, the ground improvised explosives that are there on the ground, etc. So we have a lot of activity happening, a lot of things going on. It looks like the U.S. is gearing up for some type of world war. Uh, and of course, everything is being moved out from the United States and abroad. Now, I've also wondered too, is the U.S. actually just manufacturing as fast as they possibly can all this equipment? I haven't really looked into that yet, but you know, let me know if you see that yourself. Post something in the comments so we can see what you see on this. Uh, and of course, as you just move on down through his information here, it's just one after another after another of U.S. military uh, and, and what the U.S. military is doing, preparing for something major and massive on this global uh on the globe here today. I uh, also wanted to share with you, I will be working this weekend to bring to you the debate. I'm going to actually bring you the debate first, uh, followed by Laurel and Yana's uh, speeches as well. I don't know if I can get everything out over the weekend. It's a lot of editing to do, a lot of work there to, to put together, but I'm going to try to at least get the debate out uh, this weekend for you uh, on the global versus flat earth. And also, uh, to let you know as well, I am working on a, an incredible revelation that the Lord has given me uh, this morning that I want to share. We'll probably run it on Israeli News Live as well as the Noon Institute because uh, it does deal with news as well, but it's very in-depth and in detail about, well, I, I'm just going to save it for you. It's, it's, it's clearly, it is the most concise evidence ever I've ever seen. Uh, Esau and uh, of course Jacob and their bitter feud and how it works out biblically 
all the way down through time, you're going to be amazed to find out just how much Esau has truly ruled his brother and is determined to kill him still. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom.